Um, so I'm going to tell you the one thing I really like about the room is it's both functional and aesthetic. It looks great. I can't tell you how many people I had come in saying, I can't believe the room looks just like the renderings they made. So everything's heavy, it's heavy duty, you know it's going to last, but it looks amazing. So this room totals out, weight room's 5,000 square feet, our turf room's about 5,000 square feet, and that's going to give us a venue that not a lot of other schools in Division II have. Now, as far as the customization of the room, it's unlike any other room in our conference for sure. We took this room, we customized it. You walk in, you know exactly that you're at Southeastern. So Samson customized everything all the way, our plates, our shields, um, a plyo box, all that stuff. Everything in this room is custom, so you know exactly where you're at. So mostly I worked with Troy. Uh, now. When we first started, the original weight room was actually supposed to be on the other side over there. So we actually had eight different renderings over there. And then until a guy suggested we actually flip flop the rooms and we do the turf over there and we do the weight room in here, which turned out to be a really good idea, except for that cost Troy to do another nine different renderings. So Troy did 17 renderings. Um, he didn't complain. He had a great job, did a great job of spacing out of racks. We have four feet between every platform, so we don't have issues spacing anything like that. It gives us a lot more room than a lot of other facilities in the nation where they still cram that in fairly tight. So, but Troy never complained. Like 17 different renderings is pretty absurd when it really comes down to it. And then replacing everything, making sure that all the footprint was properly, everything like that. Him coming in and helping us unload everything. I uh, can't say enough good things about Troy. No one else offers a side view like Samson does. And if we're bringing recruits in, all you're going to see all the way down the line, Savage Storm, Savage Storm, Savage Storm. That was what they sold us on, is the look they were going to give. And the renderings, I, I mean, they look spot on to what we have. And that's the thing that people can't imagine. Everyone sees renderings, and it never ends up looking the same. And it is just spot on for the equipment, exactly what they said we were going to get. Um, like I told you, 17 different renderings. Most people would have told me to get lost after a few. But Troy did 17 different renderings for us. And that's just not like, hey, here's the room. But that involves re-quoting everything, giving an exact price list, and changing this, changing that. Find someone that knows what they're doing. That's not just trying to sell you equipment. Get someone that set up some major rooms. Go look at the rooms that they've done and look at the things that you really like about them. Because I can tell you right now, Samson will work with you in any way. They're gonna sit there and if you want something customized, they're gonna do it exactly that way. We're putting a rack over here that's customized with more shields on it. Um, something that they hadn't done a lot of. But we're gonna, again, we're gonna fully customize the room. But find people that produce quality equipment you know, Samson, I, I, they have the thickest steel, they have stuff like that. Um, great bars, great bumpers, all these different warranties that a lot of places don't have. Um, find someone like Samson, find a great quality vendor that's gonna give you good renderings, that's gonna give you an idea, check out facilities, look at all that stuff. Because at the end of the day, when I see a rendering and I see something amazing, that's exactly what I want. I don't wanna get a, you know, the generic version of that.